Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you again for joining me on our RS Logics 500 journey. So, one thing we didn't talk about a lot in the last video that I kind of want to touch upon real fast is verification of the program. So, RS Logics 500, as well as Studio 5000, RS Logics 5000, offer us the feature of verifying our project, our routine, in in two different buttons, if you will. Um, one of the benefits of that is is that the the system goes through and verifies that the code is correct. It doesn't say that we programmed it correctly, that it's going to function the way we need it to, but rather it's going to go through its own internal check to make sure that that we configured it properly. Now, in other types of controllers, such as like Automation Direct or and I can't speak for Siemens and, and some of those other ones out there is that they call it a compiler and a lot of times it, it kind of is similar to programming like Python, Java, C++ kind of languages is that there's a compiler and the compiler again all it does is verify that your code, your syntax and all of that are correct so it doesn't verify that you did it right it just verifies that the code is correct for the system that it's running on and so the same thing here exists in this RS Logics 500 programming. What we do, what we've noticed here is that we have all these E's on here. And the E's generally mean there's an error somewhere, as particularly in that routine. But in RS Logics 500, the error stays until we've compiled it or downloaded it into the program. And the program takes it and accepts it because it's it was good or not. So in this particular case, we have two kinds of buttons up here. We have the check which is the verify file on the sheet here and that's going to verify this ladder it's only going to verify and check that this ladder is correct and up to date this other one over here is the verify project and it's going to go through all of our ladders and routines and make sure that they are up to par the syntax is good everything is along everything is standard and good um, kind of depending on what you're wanting to do the, if, and depending on how big your project is as well. If your project's huge, it's going to take a while for the Verify project to go through. Um, if you're only wanting to work with one routine at a time and you only want it to check that, you can verify the, the routine as well. Um, I do believe that under the Edit tab up here in the window is that you could also find the Verify file and Verify project if for some reason you shut your ribbon off or you couldn't find it in the ribbon. So once you've done, once you're done doing all of your your writing of code or whatnot here, you would click on the verify file, and all it's going to do is go through it and verify that it's all up to date. Now in our case, everything looked okay. Um, if it wasn't okay, and I'll just add something here so that we can say it's not okay. What it would do again, we'll go verify the project. What it would do is it pop up this window telling us where the errors are, and it's it's going to tell us the program files where it's located. It's going to tell us what file it's in. So we look at our project tree over here. It tells us the program files, and it tells us ladder two or file two of the program files is where, excuse me, our issue is. And then it's also going to tell us at rung two. And it's going to tell us. So we scroll down, we find rung two, and we see that we have an error, and it says operand not entered. So it's instant number one which is going to be this here. And what it's saying is the operand is not entered. So there is no location where this is going to. So we have a function, but no operand for it to send the function to or to receive the function from. So it doesn't understand what you're doing there. So it's kind of a, in a sense, it's like a syntax error. And then second thing as well, instance number two on rung two, same thing over here. So you can either correct that or delete that. In my case, we're just going to delete it because we didn't need it. And then once we're done, we can hit the verify file, and then it's going to kick it off. If it's okay and it thinks and it doesn't see an issue, because maybe you're concerned the pop-up box can come up down here in the lower left-hand corner, it's going to tell you verify is completed and no errors are found. We can also go through and verify the project, and then the same thing: verify is completed, no errors are found. Just kind of a little handy tool for when we're we're doing some basic programming through the thing in case maybe we forgot to put an operand on something or we forgot something along those lines. So just a heads up to make sure you use those features. So anyway, thank you for all for watching and please continue through our series.